So I am back with the latest news surrounding Cyberpunk 2077. And today it's pretty bad. I mean it was already bad. But it just got a whole lot worse people. News has just come to light of Cyberpunk 2077 being removed from the PlayStation's digital store. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you enjoyed this video leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to stay up to date with all things Cyberpunk, be sure to subscribe. So news has just hit the internet of Sony removing Cyberpunk from the PlayStation Store due to issues with it. They pull out a statement saying the following. SIE strives to ensure a high level of customer satisfaction. Therefore, we will begin to offer a full refund for all gamers who have purchased Cyberpunk 2077 via the PlayStation Store. SIE will also be removing Cyberpunk 2077 from the PlayStation Store until further notice once we have confirmed that you purchased cyberpunk 2077 via the playstation store we will begin processing your refund please note that completion of the refund may vary based on your payment method and financial institution now this is solely due to the way it performs on ps4 now i spoke about this in my last video about how i play on the xbox series x and to be honest the game's fine yeah there's bugs but it's fine it's a great game I question many people who played on older consoles, like the Xbox One and the PS4, the standard versions. And I told everyone I will pull out my original Xbox, clear off that dust, load Cyberpunk up on it and test the waters. I recorded a live video of me doing this which will be on my channel sometime soon. And let me tell you, I'm pretty certain now Xbox may pull it too. But in saying this, what does this mean for the game and CDPR? As let's not lie to ourselves. Sony make up a massive chunk of the gaming industry, bigger more so than Xbox in terms of sales. So this being pulled is going to affect CDPR, to what extent I ain't sure. Now I don't have a PS5 so I can't check to see if you can still purchase the game on there. It would make sense that you can't due to them pulling it from the store but I don't know if the stores are different from the PS4 to the PS5. And also I'm pretty certain the game runs quite good on the PS5 like it does on the Xbox Series X. Because I'm seriously enjoying the game and like I said I play on the Series X. But this news guys is truly bad. CDPR have apologised about the way in which it performs on older consoles. I experienced it myself first hand now and I can say for certain that apology was needed. I understand now why they didn't want anyone testing it on these older platforms because for what it is guys it's probably the worst experience of any game I've ever played on the original Xbox. It should have never been released over there, just no and I never thought I'd hear myself saying that with true intent. It should never have been released on these older platforms. And I'm talking here about the original Xbox One and the original PlayStation 4. But because there was money to be made, it happened. Now it's come back to bite CDPR on the ass because this isn't a good look, guys, no matter what you think. One of the most anticipated games for years since I can remember gaming, hyped up like crazy. Yet the game is now being out a week, hundreds of bad reviews, they having to make an apology, and now the game being pulled from the PlayStation Store. And to be honest people, I think it might get worse before it gets better. Now before we end, like I said, I played this on the original Xbox One earlier today. I know CDPR said they are going to pull out performance patches, but honestly, I don't know how they can fix that to make the game playable, and more importantly, enjoyable at the same time. I mean, I just can't see it happening. And on that note guys, we have come to the end of the video. Let me know your thoughts down below in that comments section. If you enjoyed this video, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Cyberpunk, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video or upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.